Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Liaqat Zaman and this is my YouTube channel Roots of Knowledge. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I hope you guys have been looking forward to this video. This is learning how to understand Arabic poetry, Diwan of Sayyidina Ali ibn Abi Talib. Diwan basically means a collection of poems which are attributed to him. We don't 100% know if these poems were said by him, but they have been mentioned in many books and they have been compiled all together. And this poem today is a bit of a long one, so get ready and stay till the end, inshallah. Tilkum Quraishu tamannani litaqtulani Fala wa rabbika ma barru wa ma zafiru Fa in baqitu farahnun dhimmati lakumu bidhati wa daqayni la ya'fu laha atharu Wa in halaktu fa inni sawfa urithuhum dhulla alhayati faqad khanu wa qad ghadaru إما بقيت فإني لست متخذا أهلا ولا شيعة في الدين إذ فجروا قد بايعوني ولم يوفوا ببيعتهم وماكروني بالأعداء إذ مكروا وناصبوني في حرب مضرسة ما لم يلاقي أبو بكر ولا عمر. So he says, "Tilkum Quraysh, that is Quraysh, who anticipated, hoped, تمنىني, who hoped, who wished for me so that they could kill me, لتقتلني." فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ No, I swear by Allah, I swear by your Lord. مَا بَرُّوا They did not fulfill their wishes. وَمَا ظَفِرُوا And no, were they successful. فَإِنْ بَقِيتُوا If I remain فَرَحْنٌ ذِمَّتِي Then my ذِمَّة Then my responsibility is going to be a رَحْن A debt لَكُمْ بِذَاتِ وَدَقَيْنِ with the possessor of that which is terrifying, لا يعفو لها أثر which does not remain behind for it any traces. فإن هلكت فإني سوف أورثهم. If I was to perish, then indeed I will make them inherit ذل الحياة humiliation of life. فقد خانوا for indeed they were treacherous, they were dishonest. وقد غدروا and were treacherous. إما بقيت if I remain alive, فإني لست متخذا. Indeed, I will not keep أهلا, a family, ولا شيعة, nor any supporters في الدين in religion. إذ فجروا when they when they showed dishonesty or fujur. قد بايعوني. Indeed, they had pledged allegiance to me. ولم يوفوا but did not fulfill ببيعتهم their their pledge to me. وَمَا كَرُونِي And they plotted against me بِالْأَعْدَاءِ With the enemies إِذْ مَكَرُوا When they plotted وَنَاصَبُونِي And they had made me their target فِي حَرْبٍ مُضَرَّسَةٍ مُضَرِّسَةٍ In a battle which was fierce مَا لَمْ يُلَاقِي أَبُو بَكْرٍ Such that the likes of Abu Bakr and Umar did not face. So he says تِلْكُمْ قُرَيْشٌ تِلْكُمْ قُرَيْشٌ That is Quraysh. So he wants to describe basically He wants to show how the people, how his history, how Quraysh and other people have always tried to plan and plot against him. He says, Tilkum Quraishu. He says, when in the early years it was Quraysh, that was Quraysh. Tamanna ya tamanna tamanniya. It means to wish, to hope for, from the word munia, which means something that you really, really want. Litaqtulani in order to kill me. Taqtul is feminine wahid mu'annath, goes back to Quraysh. So, that is Quraysh. Tilkum Quraishun. Tilkum Quraishu. Tamannani. They wished for me so that they could kill me. So in other words, in them days, it was the days of Quraysh when they were trying to destroy Islam. They tried to kill me and the Prophet ﷺ. Fala wa rabbika. La wa rabbika means no by your Lord. I swear by your Lord. Wow. Wa rabbika. I swear by your Lord. Ma barru wa ma zafiru. Ma barru. They did not barra ya it means like to fulfill uh, a vow that someone made or an oath that someone made. Barra ya barru. So, barra ya barru. Bar, barul walidain. This person is obedient to their parents. Birrul walidain. However, this is used in oaths. Um, um, so, ma barru. So, they did not fulfill. وَمَا ظَفِرُوا ظَفَرَ يَذْفَرُوا It means to be successful of something, like to capture something, to gain something. So nor were they successful. 
fa in baqitu farahnun if i am if i remain I mean, if i remain alive farahnun rahan it means something you leave with someone as a security right so let's say for example you so you borrowed someone's car and they don't trust you and you say okay here's my mobile phone keep my mobile phone as a security as a guarantee that i will be back this is called a rahan dhimma it means a responsibility right? something that you have taken upon yourself like a like a debt or something you say i this is my dhimma this is in my responsibility, my, my guarantee. Lakumu. So, farahnin dhimmati lakumu. So, my dhimma for you is rahn. Right? My guarantee for you, my dhimma for you, is considered to be like a security that I am keep. I guarantee, it's like saying, I wallahi 100% I guarantee for you. If I am left alive, I guarantee for you that this is going to happen. So, farahnun bi dhimmati lakumu. Bidati wadqain. Dati wadqain. Wadaq is literally means rain. Thick, heavy drops of rain is called wadaq. And the Arabs use the word dati wadqain to mean something which is extremely terrifying. Like a terrifying calamity. Powerful force. So he says, he goes, Fa in baqitu, if I remain, farahnun dhimmati lakum. My, my, my dhimma for you is going to be a rahan. What is that? Bidati wadqain. It's something which is the possessor of extreme terror, which will come after them. La ya'fu laha athar. Athar means traces. Afa ya'fu. It will not re- leave any traces behind. No traces will be left behind. La ya'fu laha athar. So for this dhimma that I, I am talking about, or this dati wadqain, the athar will not be left behind. It will annihilate, decimate everything that comes in its path. Meaning, if you guys don't kill me, you better kill me. Because if you don't kill me, he goes, I will come after you with everything I have got. And nothing will be left behind. La ya'fu. Afa ya'fu means to wipe away. Afun, when you forgive someone, is also called forgiveness because you're wiping away anything that was there. And athar means like something that was left behind traces. Wa in halaktu. And if you know in the Quran where the word afu is mentioned, put it here. In the comments below and also Athar, Athar or Athar, put it in the comments below inshallah. Let's see how much of these words you can find in the Quran. وَإِنْ هَلَكْتُ فَإِنِّي سَوْفَ أُورِثُهُمْ إِنْ هَلَكْتُ هَلَكَ يَهْلِكُمْ is to perish and if I perish, فَإِنِّي سَوْفَ أُورِثُمْ أَوْرَثَ يُورِثُ إِرَاثُ Just like in the Quran Allah comes, أَوْرَثَهُمْ أَرْضَهُمْ وَدِيَارَهُمْ أُورِثْتُمُ So, um, it means to leave behind inheritance yeah. can also mean that you made them heirs yeah. so he left behind something for them I left behind for Zaid after my death book indeed I will soon leave them inheritance wiratha mirath you call this miratha wiratha awratha yurithu what will I leave them behind? What will be the inheritance I leave them behind? Dhul al hayat. Dhul al means to be humiliated. And dhul al hayat means humiliation of life. Duribat alayhim dhillatu wal maskanatu. Allah in the Quran says Allah has stamped upon them dhilla and maskana, humiliation and poverty. Dhul al hayati faqad khanu. Khanu, khana yahunu. It means to be dishonest. Not the Urdu khan, Mr. Khan Sab. No. So in Arabic, the word Khan means to be dishonest. I remember there was a guy who had a bit of a problem. I think he went to Saudi and his name was his name was Muhammad Khan. So when the Arabs read this, they said, Muhammad Khan, Muhammad was dishonest. The man said, no, your mom and dad were dishonest. He, he was not dishonest. They didn't understand that the word Khan in Pakistan actually was an honorary name, a title that people have. So Faqad Khanu, then indeed they were Dishonest. Like, again, if you can find it in the Quran where this word is used, put it in the comments below. Let's see if you guys can 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 search for it. Waqad ghadaru ghadar. Okay, so uh, it means to be treacherous. Someone who was dishonest, treacherous. Ghadar, ghaddar. Right, if you have come across this word before in Urdu as well. Again, if you can find it in the Quran, put it in the comments below. Imma is actually short. Like, like saying in in if if imma baqitu. If I stay, meaning if I am still around, for indeed I will not 
take up muttakhid ittakhadha yattakhidu from the word akhadha but it's from the verb ifti'al so imma baqitu if I stay behind if I stay behind then fa'inni lastu I will not be muttakhidhan taking ahlan a family wala shi'atan so ahl means family wife and children and all that wala shi'atan shi'a it means like your followers right so follow just like we have the word sunni shi'a shi'a Okay, for the word follower, like in the Quran, Allah says, Shia to Ibrahim. So, Shia to Ibrahim means the followers, the supporters of Ibrahim. So, La Shia'atan, I will not have any supporters fiddini in the religion. Meaning, I am going to be a person who will follow, be solo. I will have no followers. I will not even take up a family. Id Fajaru, Fajara. It means to do fujur. Fujur means to be treacherous with someone, like to be dishonest, to break loyalty, to break uh, you know, rules. Fujur. Qad bayauni indeed. And what was the treachery that they did? So bayauni indeed. Bayau bayau mo bayaaten. They they did a pledge with me. So they gave me allegiance. So a pledge basically is where you put your hand in someone's hand and you say. I promise to fulfill whatever you say to me. Whatever you tell me to do, I will fulfill it. It's called a pledge. And normally you'd give it to a leader. فَقَدْ قَدْ بَايَعُونِ Indeed, they had, they had given a pledge to me. وَلَمْ يُوفُوا أَوْفَا يُوفِي إِفَاءً It means to do wafa, to fulfill. Right? To fulfill a contract, to fulfill a, a deal. لَمْ يُوفُوا They did not fulfill. بِبَيْعَتِهِمْ With their bay'ah, with their pledge, they did not fulfill. وَمَا كَرَ يُمَاكِرُ مُمَاكَرَةً right, So, مَا كَرُونِي مَا كَرَ يُمَاكِرُ means they were, tr- they were plotting against me. They scheming, conniving, plotting against me. بِالْأَعْدَاءِ Again, in the Quran, this word does come, but it comes in the form of مَكَرَ يَمْكُرُ وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ مَا كَرُونِي From Bab مُفَاعَلَ they plotted against me bil a'da'i with the aid of the enemies is makaru when they did their makar when they did their plotting they plotting was so conniving and sneaky that they got the enemies involved against me wa nasab nasaba yunasibu is from the word nasab to erect so nasaba yunasibu nasabatan it means to erect something as a target to fire at so the they they say the people who were the enemies of Ali radiallahu anhu, they used to call them the Nasibis. These are the Nasibis. Right? So the Nasibis were like the people who had set up Ali as their target to fire. And they made me as a target. Fi harbin in a battle. Harb means a battle. Mudarrisatin. Mudarris. Dars is like the back of the teeth. So a battle, which is mudarris, it means the one that you bite on with the back of your teeth to destroy. Right, so it's a very descriptive word which describes the method in which something is being annihilated. Right, so you say, I I chewed it with the back of my teeth, meaning I really destroyed it. في حرب مدرسة ضرس ما لم يلاقي لاقى يلاقي ملاقات means to meet from the word لقاء ما this is ما مصدرية okay that which Abu Bakr and Umar did not meet, meaning I faced so much treachery and so many battles, so many fierce battles, that if I was to count them, I'd find that I faced more than Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu faced and Umar radiallahu anhu faced. Nice poem, isn't it? Very filled with a lot of powerful words and imagery. And that's what you want in poetry. That's the kind of thing you're looking for. Tilkum Quraysh Tamannani Quraysh really wanted Tamanna had this real wish and f- desire to capture me لتقتلني, to kill me and this ما بروا وما ظفروا they weren't six, they, they did not fulfill their their promise or their wish and did, they weren't successful ظفروا yeah ظفر and in بقيتوا فرحن ذمتي لكم رحن ذمتي لكم again this is a very nice word that's used classical word in modern they don't use this this phrase. So Rahnun Dhimmati. So my Dhimma for you is a Rahan, is a pledge. It's like he's drawing an image. I'm taking my guarantee and I'm leaving it as a pledge for you guys. Bidati wadqaini. Dati wadqain means something which is dahiya. 
terrifying. لا يأفو لها أثره. Such that no traces will be left behind when I finish with these people. And in halaktu fa inni sofa urithuhum. This is a nice word as well. Sofa urithuhum. Awrastu zaydan kitabi. Alwalidu awrasa ibnahu almal. Dhul al-hayati. This is a nice word as well. Dhul al-hayat. Now we don't want dhul al-hayat, but we want to use dhul al-hayat in our Arabic sentences. Try practicing it as well. فَقَدْ خَانُوا وَقَدْ غَدَرُوا فَقَدْ خَانُوا خَانَ يَخُونُوا So indeed they have been deceitful or, or dishonest. خَان خِيَانَ وَقَدْ غَدَرُوا غَدَر It means like to be treacherous. Again, لَسْتُ مُتَّخِذِ مُتَّخِذِ is a nice word as well in the Quran. It comes many times. لَمْ يَتَّخِذْ وَلَدًا Allah did not take up a walad. اتَّخَذُوهُمْ اتَّخَذُوا أولياء اتخذوا أولياء شيعة فجروا بايعوني بايع يبايع this is a nice word as well ما كروا right so حرب مضرسة this is a fierce battle yeah حرب which is مضرسة now the word حرب is actually feminine that's why the word مضرسة the صفة has a تاء at the end مضرسة this is a fierce battle right okay now طيب يقول تلكم قريش يعني تلك هؤلاء الذين قد مذوا how they can Quraysh Al-Kuffar, Al-Mushrikun Al-Ladhi Al-Ladhi Yani A'addu Mastata'u min quwatin Li-Nayl Qatli Tamannani Li-Taqtulani Yani how they can Yatamannona Wayad'una Alihatahum Li-Yaqtuluni Fala wa Rabbika Ana uqsimu billah Uqsimu bi Rabbi Annahum ma barru Yani ma wafaw Bi qasamihim بتمناهم وما ظفروا ما حصلوا على شيء مما تمنوا فإن بقيت فرحن ذمتي يعني أنا إذا بقيت حيا إذا إذا كنت حيا فأنا سأضمن لكم أضمن لكم بذات ودقين بشيء داهية كارثة قوية شديدة الذي لا يعفو لها أثر سيهلكهم سيستأصلهم ولا يبقى لهم أثر وإن هلكت فإني سوف أورثهم وأنا إذا مت وأهلكوني فأنا سوف أترك أبقي له ذل الحياة يعني مهانة الحياة مهانة العيش عيش المهين فقد خانوا فقد كذبوني فقد كانوا عاملوني معاملة الكذب والخيانة وقد غدروا وكانوا قد لم يوفوا بما عاهدوني غدروني إما بقيت وإن كنت بقيت فإني لست متخذ أنا سوف لا أجعل أحد أهلا لي أعلتي أسرتي ولا شيعة ولا أأخذ منهم شيعة يشيعونني في الدين في أمور الإسلام إذ فجروا لأنهم قد قد فجروني يعني قد عصوني قد بايعوني يعني ماذا فعلوا بي هم قد أخذوا مني أخذت منهم بيعة وهم قد أقسموا أنهم سيتبعونني ويسمعون ويطيعون ولم يوفوا ببيعتهم يعني لم يكملوا هذه البيعة لم يبروا بهذا القسم وما كروني بالأعداء وقد اجتمعوا بالأعداء وقد حلفوا معهم وعاملوا معهم معاملة ذدي كالأعداء إذ مكروا هنا خططوا الحرب خلفي ورائي ناصبوني جعلوني نصبا للضرب والإصابة في حرب مضرسة في في قتال شديد ضدي ما لم يلاقي أبو بكر ولا عمر يعني حرب لم يرى مثله أو سيدنا أبو بكر رضي الله عنه ولا عمر رضي الله عنه طيب جزاكم الله خير Thank you very much for watching this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed this Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or questions and uh, if you guys uh, share my videos I would really appreciate that and thank you to my patrons who support my channel on a monthly basis. If any of you guys want to support my channel on a monthly basis, please check out the description below. You can support through uh, Patreon, 
you can support through PayPal and uh, and you can contact me as well inshallah I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh